Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet, starring the entire Nelson family, Ozzie, Harriet, David, and Ricky. Here is Ozzie, who plays the part of Ozzie Nelson. And of course, his lovely wife, Harriet, as Harriet Nelson. The older of the Nelson boys, David, appears as David Nelson. And his younger brother, the irrepressible Ricky, played by Ricky Nelson. The Nelson's next door neighbor, Thorny, is played by Don DeFore. All you junior halibuts enjoy that cartoon? Good. Tomorrow we're going to have another one, and it's going to be just as funny. Now, in just a few moments, we're going to have our special birthday guest for today, and he's going to be at the controls when Captain Salty's hydroatomic submarine makes a 30,000-foot dive below the ocean right into the lost continent of Oceanus. But before we do that, boys and girls, I want to post the names of all our junior halibuts who've been graduated to the rank of senior abalones. And you know how they got that promotion, kids? Just by drinking that good old seafoam root beer. But before we post the names, here's a little musical cartoon called The Dance of the Tadpoles. Say, can we move the screen over here so I could watch it, too? Oh, hi, Rick. What are you watching here? Oh, hi, Pa. I'm not watching anything. I'm doing my homework. Oh, you got the television set on. Well, that's Captain Salty. Aren't you a little old to be watching that? I'm not watching it. I'm doing my homework. Isn't there a news program on or something? I don't know, Pa. If you want to see, go ahead. What does this guy do, anyway? Well, he shows cartoons for the kids and has contests and stuff. That was in honor of all our new senior abalones. Welcome to the land beneath the sea. And now let's make it official with a club salute. Blub, blub, blub. <laughs> Does he ever make any dates with the mermaids? Well, it's a kids program, Pa. <laughs> and now, here's our special birthday guest. Stevie Wagner, Captain. Hi, Stevie. Well, you're a big boy. Welcome aboard, Steve. How old are you today? I don't know. W well, how many candles did you have on your birthday cake? I didn't have a birthday cake because my birthday is until next week. Oh, well, we'll be thinking of you next week then, Stevie. Now, you junior halibuts know how Stevie got to be our birthday guest today? He drank three cases of seafoam root beer. So if you'd like to be on Captain Salty's program on your birthday, you start drinking seafoam root beer right away. Uh, after the show, go out in the kitchen and tell your mother to get some. Did I go out and tell her, Pop, or were you? No, you're supposed to wait till the end of the show. Besides, I think we have some. Come on, now, let's all sing our seafoam root beer song. You know the song, Stevie. What song? The seafoam root beer song. Now, come on, all you junior halibuts out there, sing it along with us. Seafoam root beer is the best. Seafoam root beer meets the test. Blub, blub, blub. Everybody, blub, blub, blub. 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 <laughs> What's the matter, Pop? You weren't singing. <laughs> Uh, Rick was just watching this crazy program. Not me, I'm studying. Well, gee, Pop, I don't think this is such a... Okay, Stevie, now we're gonna make our 30,000-foot dive into the lost continent of Oceanus. We're putting on Stevie's automatic helmet with a hydraulic depressurator. <laughs> What's a hydraulic depressurator? While we're getting Stevie's helmet adjusted, I want to tell all you kids about a wonderful offer that Captain Salty's got for you. How would you like to have an exact model of Captain Salty's submarine? You would? I thought so. This is it. And kids, you've never seen anything like it. It works just like a real submarine. It dives under the surface and shoots two real torpedoes, and then it comes up to the surface, and this little hatch here opens up all automatically. How about that? How about that? How do you suppose that works? It's simple, Pop. It's got a little man inside. <laughs> I know you'd all like one of these models, so here's what you do. Send in the caps from six bottles of seafoam root beer, along with 50 cents, to box 22, and your genuine Captain Salty submarine will be sent to you by return mail. Did you get that, fellas? Box 22. What do we want it for, Pop? We're not going to send in for it. Oh. Well, I just thought you might want to. But maybe you better write it down just in case you change your mind, Rick. Well, we can remember it, Pop. Dave, you remember one of the twos, and I'll remember the other. <laughs> and remember, when you send in for your submarine, you're automatically entered in our free bicycle contest. And now, here we go. We're ready to make our dive. Stevie, trim dorsal deflector blades. Set manual oscillators. Captain Salty, the submarine control tower, ready for dive. Okay, Stevie? Okay. Release uranium pellet. All clear. So long, Junior Halibuts. Dive away. So long. See you tomorrow. Blub, blub, blub. So long. So long. See ya. Bye-bye. Seafoam root beer is the best. Sea foam root beer meets the test. Blub, blub, blub. Everybody, blub, blub. Oh, hello, dear. 
Well, what have you got there? Oh, uh, some uh, seafoam root beer. Would you like to have a bottle? No, and I don't think you should have any either. You'll spoil your dinner. It'll be ready in ten minutes. Oh, well, that's okay. This is kind of an appetizer, you might say. <laughs> uh, Harriet, have you noticed that our boys just don't seem to be interested in mechanical things lately? No, I haven't. But if they aren't, they take after you. I've been trying to get you to put a light in that upstairs hall for the last two weeks. <laughs> that has nothing to do with being mechanical. No, it has something to do with being lazy. <laughs> you know, you could throw these bottle caps in the wastebasket. Well, well, wait a minute. Don't, don't throw that away. Well, why not? Well, that's... I mean, uh, uh, the boys are, are saving those. What are we supposed to be saving, Pa? Oh, hi, son. The caps off these seafoam root beer bottles. Was well, that what you're drinking these days? Or <laughs> our halibut or a senior abalone. <laughs> you guys can laugh if you want, but I don't know why you don't send away for one of these submarines. Submarine? What submarine is this? Well, it's a model Captain Salty is advertising on his television uh, program. Television? You have to send in six bottle caps and 50 cents for uh, And 50 cents. And I don't know why the boys don't send away for one. Well, there are two reasons, Pop. First, you got to drink the root beer, and second, you have to have the 50 cents. <laughs> I'll drink the root beer for you. I like it. Well, that still leaves the 50 cents. Well, okay, if you want to be chintzy about it, I'll pay the 50 cents, too. Why don't you just send for it yourself, Pop, and cut out the millman? <laughs> I don't see what's so great about a submarine. Well, now, now, wait a minute, Harriet. This isn't just an ordinary submarine. It's a very interesting uh, mechanical... Toy? <laughs> yes, I guess you might say it's a toy. Well, don't you think the boys are a little old for toys? Well, th that doesn't mean they can't be interested in mechanical things. Do you realize what the submarine does? Well, I imagine it goes underwater. Well, yes, but not only that, after it goes underwater, it shoots off two torpedoes. Who does it shoot them at? <laughs> it just shoots them off. It doesn't shoot them at anybody. Well, why waste two torpedoes? <laughs> You're missing the whole point of this. I just don't understand why the boys aren't interested in finding out how this mechanical device works. I know how it works, Pop. How? It dives underwater and shoots off two torpedoes. Well, yes, but how? There's a little man inside. <laughs> hey, Harriet, if, if you're so smart, why don't you send away for it? Because I'm so smart. <laughs> Come on, fellas, get washed up for dinner. It's almost ready. We're on our way, Mom. Dive away! Blub, blub, blub. Blub, blub, blub. Blub, blub, blub. Uh, very funny. <laughs> Is there anything you want from the market? No, I don't think so, thanks. How about some more seafoam root beer? We had six bottles, but somehow they've disappeared. <laughs> but everybody seems to like it. You know, it's the best, it meets the test. Yeah, it's pretty good. You ought to send that into Captain Salty. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, actually, they do have a little singing jingle that goes something like that. Seafoam root beer, it's the best. Seafoam root beer meets the test. Blah, blah, blah. Everybody, blah, blah, blah. Oh. <laughs> you heard it. <laughs> oh, Mr. Nelson. Mr. Nelson. It sounds like the mailman. I'll put down six more bottles of seafoam root beer then. Good morning, Mr. Bryan. Oh, good morning, Mr. Nelson. I got a package here for you. I thought you might want to have it right away. Oh, I wonder what that could be. I don't know, but it's the sixth one of these submarines I've delivered this morning. <laughs> How about that? I guess the boys must have sent in for one of those after all. Oh, I haven't got one for the boys. This one's addressed to you. I guess all the fathers in town sent in for one of these. <laughs> well, I suppose if the kids aren't interested in mechanical things, it's up to the fathers to sort of stimulate their interest. I know what you mean. I sent for one myself. <laughs> well, I'll lay it on the kitchen table. All right, thanks a lot, Mr. Bryan. Oh, Harris is filling up the sink for me. I'm just going to wash some vegetables. Oh, oh, well, uh, there you are. It's all uh, filled up. Unless you want to sell your submarine. <laughs> uh, how'd you know I had a submarine? Well, I just put two and two together, and it came out six bottles of seafoam root beer. <laughs> Besides, I hope that isn't the time bomb you have in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> submarine. You know, according to the mailman, just about every father in town sent in for one of these. That's cute. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, uh, shall we see if it works? Yeah, let's. Well, 
that's wonderful, dear. It submerges all by itself. Well, it's supposed to do a little more than that. When does it fire the two torpedoes? I don't know. What's wrong? There's something wrong with the mechanism, I guess. How do you like that? The conning tower popped right off. It's a fine thing. Half the fathers in town send away for this, and it turns out to be a piece of junk. Oh, that's too bad. Maybe you wound it too tight. Well, I heard you've got to wind it up. Do you want me to get the boys to fix it for you? No, 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 no. I, I wouldn't say anything to the boys about this. Too embarrassing, huh? No, it's, it's just that... Well, I, I don't think there's any necessity of... Uh, you're not going to talk to the boys about it, are you? No, I won't. Sure. On my sacred oath as a junior halibut. Blub, blub, blub. <laughs> blub, blub is right. Hi, boys. Oh, hi, Pa. You're just in time. Your favorite show's on. Well, what show is that? Captain Salty. <laughs> Don't tell me you're watching that again. Well, I'm not watching it. I'm reading. You know, Pop, if you really want us to send away for that submarine, we'll be glad to do it. Oh, no, no, Dave. I don't think it's worth sending for. Probably wouldn't work anyway. Gee, you seem so anxious to get one, Pop. Oh, well, yeah, but I've changed my mind. The way you were talking the other night, we were sure you are going to get one. Oh, well... Just goes to show you we don't know you as well as we think, huh, Pop? <laughs> that's about it. And now, here's the announcement I know all you junior halibuts and senior abalones have been waiting to hear. The winner of our free bicycle. And here's the name. Little Ozzie Nelson. <laughs> Ozzie Nelson? Did you hear that, Pop? You want a bicycle. Oh, I thought you had to send away for one of those submarines to be in the contest. <laughs> well, there's no harm sending away for a submarine. <laughs> How did it work, Pop? <laughs> Pretty good. Just one word of warning from your Captain Salty, Ozzy. Don't wind the submarine too tight, or the conning tower might pop off. <laughs> now he tells me. Just uh, fixing something. I see you wound your submarine too tight, too. Oh. <laughs> now, don't tell me you sent away for one of these things. No, Catherine did. <laughs> what? Oh, God, congratulations. Congratulations for what? For what? For winning the bicycle. Oh, <laughs> how'd you find out? Blub, blub, blub. <laughs> well, of course, I'm not a, a regular halibut. That is a regular viewer. But uh, Ricky had the program on the den the other night, and I happened to see it, so I figured I'd send away for a submarine for the boys. Well, then how come they announced your name as a winner? Oh, well, I guess technically you might say I, I was the winner. <laughs> well, there's no harm in sending away for a submarine. You just said Catherine sent away for one for Will. No, she didn't. She sent away for one for me. <laughs> Oz, you're a lucky guy. Oh, what are you going to do with a bike? Oh, I don't know. We were talking about that at breakfast. Dave and Ricky are a little too old for a bicycle. I thought I might give it to some deserving kid in the neighborhood. Well, gee, there's a relative of Catherine's who'd sure love to have it. That is, if you haven't promised to give it away to anybody. Well, no, I'd be glad to give it to him. Well, gee, thanks. I'll tell Catherine about it right away. Well, say, have you fixed that yet? Well, I don't know. I hope so. I've been working on it. Well, you see, the main idea is not to wind it too tight or the conning tower will pop off. Yeah, I found that out. See, just a couple of easy turns will do it. See? Well, anyway, you won the bicycle. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Uh, uh, Harriet, I was just talking to Thorny out in the garage, and I decided what to do with the bicycle. Well, sure, I told you to be good exercise. No, 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 no. I I'm not going to keep it. But uh, Thorny was telling me about this relative of Catherine's. I imagine he's a, a nephew or something. Anyway, Thorny seemed to think he was a pretty nice little kid, and uh, he said he'd like the bike, so I'm going to give it to him. Well, I think that's a wonderful idea. Here's a letter for you, Pop. Special delivery. Oh. <laughs> 
Master Ozzy Nelson. What is this? Seaweed. It's from Captain Salty. You can have this. Oh, well, start an aquarium. Holy smokes. What's the matter? Were you disqualified? Well, no, but they're not going to deliver the bike. Well, didn't you win? Well, uh, yes, I won, but it says here I have to go down and appear on the program in person to pick it up. Well, what's wrong with that? Well, I can't go down and appear on a kid's program, Harriet. Do you have to? Well, apparently I do. I'd better tell Thorny the whole deal is off. Oh, well, you can't do that. You promised. Besides, it'd be more embarrassing if you didn't show up. They'd keep announcing your name. Maybe you could walk in on your knees. <laughs> well, I'll go down there, but I won't go on the show. After all, I won the bicycle and I'm entitled to it, but there was nothing said about the winners having to make a personal appearance on television, and I'm not going to do it. Oh, I, I need my other coat, Harriet. Pop's right, you know, Mom. He's a senior abalone, not a jellyfish. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Would you mind waiting over there for a moment, please? Okay. Yes, sir. Can I help you? Uh, yeah, I'm uh, looking for Captain Salty. I'd like to see him, please. I believe they're running a cartoon right now. Could you tell me what it's about? Well, yes, uh, I'm Ozzie Nelson. Uh, see, I won the bicycle. Oh. Oh, I, I was wondering if I could talk to the captain, uh, to, to uh, Captain Salty about it. Oh, well, you go right to Studio B. It's through the curtain there and down the hallway and to your left. Well, thank you very much. How much time for the cartoon's over? Less than five seconds. Okay. Uh, Captain... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, my name is Nelson. Nelson? Oh, that's the name of the winner of our bicycle. Uh, yes, uh, I wanted to talk to you about that before you went on television. I'm afraid it's too late. We're on right now. Oh! I... Hey, Mom! David, come here quick! Pop's on television! <laughs> over a bunch of root beer bottles. So you're Mr. Nelson. You must be the father of little Ozzy. Uh, no, no, I am little Ozzy. <laughs> I am Ozzy Nelson. Well, how about that, Junior Halibuts? Isn't that wonderful? Mr. Nelson here came all the way down to pick up the bicycle for his little boy. Uh, well, no, no, uh, not uh, a little boy. I have two sons, but they're grown up. Oh, then you came down here to pick up the bicycle for your grandson. <laughs> Uh, no, I, <laughs> I don't have any grandchildren. Oh, well, here's a man who came all the way down here for no reason at all. <laughs> no, uh, see, uh, I'm going to uh, pick up the bicycle and give it to my neighbor's wife. Uh, she has a relative, and she's going to give it to him. Well, isn't that nice? Junior Halibuts, here is a grade A senior abalone who follows rule number six of our underwater code. Always help another poor fish. <laughs> Let's all join in a salute to Mr. Nelson. Blub, blub. Blub, everybody. Blub, blub, blub. blub. <laughs> well, uh, thanks a lot. I guess I'll be going now, Captain. Uh, just a second, Mr. Nelson. You can't walk out there without a diving suit, can you? Oh, no, I guess you're right. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure you're anxious to take the controls of our submarine and pilot us under the submerged islands of Kakamara. Well, that, that, that does sound like fun. <laughs> How do I, I do it? I hope Pop's got his rubbers on. <laughs> to make our dive. Uh, just a second, don't I have to put on the automatic helmet with a hydraulic depressure later? It's right here. Oh, yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> well, I've enjoyed your show many times. It's a wonderful show for the kids. Well, thank you. Uh, what do I do with this? You call a submarine control tower. Oh, uh, what do I say? Just give them your name. Calling submarine control tower, Ozzy Nelson. Fine, now request permission to dive. Uh, requesting permission to dive. <laughs> Just giving you permission. Now pull a hydrothermic neutralizer. Uh, this lever over here. Oh. Do I pull it hard? Yes, give it a good hard pull. Oh. <laughs> Look what it says. We have temporarily lost our picture. Oh, oh, thank you. Congratulations, Pop. Oh. You were swell. Oh, thanks. You didn't even have any makeup on. No. <laughs> What'd you do with the bicycle? Oh, it's right out in the garage there. Yeah, the whole thing was kind of exciting, especially when the submarine submerged. <laughs> hey, Oz. Oh, hi, Thorny. Pardon me. Oz, you were sensational. Oh, you saw me on television, huh? Sure, I watched you right up to the time you blew out the picture. Oh. <laughs> 
Well, actually, that wasn't my fault. Well, never mind that. Did you get the bike? Yeah, I got it. Well, where is it? I want to take a ride before dinner. Oh, no, Thorny. I don't want you to ride it. Well, why not? It's my bike. Well, no, it isn't. It's for one of Catherine's relatives. That's right. I'm one of Catherine's relatives. By marriage. <laughs> oh, no, no, wait a minute, Thorny. It was supposed to be for a kid. Sure, that's me. I'm the biggest kid in the neighborhood. No, no, no. Good, I'll see you later. Thorny! Hey, come back here! No, you can't back out, Oz. A promise is a promise. You promised me the bicycle, and it's mine. Well, what was that all about? <laughs> that crazy Thorny, he wanted the bicycle for himself. You're gonna let him get away with that, Pa? Well, he won't get very far. <laughs> I see what you mean. <laughs>